Stop the music, stop the music, stop the music. Vivian, you shouldn't interrupt the Crystal Ray podcast theme song. Besides, isn't that Emily who always does that? That's okay, I taught her how to do it, but only in emergencies. And if this isn't an emergency, I don't know what it is. That's right, tell them, Vivian. Tell them what? About the letter. Oh, yeah, the letter. Mr. Corrigan left us this letter saying he was canceling the Crystal Ray podcast Christmas special this year. He said that every Christmas something terrible happens to him usually involving his old nemesis, Mr. Dybul. You know who Mr. Dybul is? Yes, Emily told me all about him. He used to be a social studies teacher at Crystal Ray, right? And he's always up to something? That's right. Last year he convinced a bunch of other social studies teachers to try to dissolve Mr. Corgan in acid. Ah, uh, good times. So yeah, rather than take the chance this year, Mr. Corgan has gone into hiding. And to be extra safe, he said he's canceling the Christmas special. No Crystal Ray podcast Christmas special? What's the point of having Christmas at all then? I'm texting my dad to tell him to take back all my Christmas presents. No way. Just because Mr. Corgan is a coward. Yeah, a spineless, cravenly coward. Vivian, we talked about this. Just calm down, alright? Sorry. Just because Mr. Corgan is indisposed doesn't mean we should cancel the show. We'll do it without him. I agree. The show has already been delayed by almost a week and I'm sick of waiting. But there's just one problem. We can't start the Chris Del Rey podcast Christmas special without Mr. Corgan to sing the theme tune. That's not a problem. Jade, I think you know what to do. Of course. I still have some magic Christmas dust in this jar, straight from Santa's workshop. Magic Christmas dust? That's right. Now if we just sprinkle a little over the Chris Del Rey choir. the show. We are your hosts, Emily, Icy, Jake, Nishan, Jayshon, Homer, Paris, Liam, and Vivian. And this is the Chris Ray Columbus Podcast Christmas Special. <laughs> Begging you, no more jingle bells. Well, looks like the choir saved the day again. With a little help from me, of course. The choir is great, but they wouldn't be what they are without their amazing musical director, Miss Wise. In fact, let's get her out here. Hello, everyone. Hi, Miss Wise. Even though Mr. Corning has bailed on us, we know we can always count on you. I've heard you've been busy building a music program this year. That's right. Of course, we still have the choir, the concert band, and the guitar classes, but this semester we tried something new. The freshmen in the intro to music class have also learned a few songs. Would you like to hear one? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Okay, what would you like to hear? The first in the world! Hold on, hold on. We can't sing all of those at once. That would be impossible. Not impossible, with some more of this magic Christmas dust. No, wait, don't do that.
This sort of thing. Let's give it up for the freshmen in the intro to music class. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Thanks, Miss Wise. You're welcome. Bye now. Merry Christmas and good luck with the rest of the show. Thanks. Merry Christmas. See you soon. Wait. What? Will you name your baby after me? Um, I'll think about it. See ya. Bye. 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 Okay, singing and all is well and good, but what about some instrumental music? Good thinking. Did you know Chris Array has two guitar classes this year? Both classes are pretty good, but eighth grade is best. Why is that? Because I'm in that class, of course. Uh, okay. Just kidding. You want to hear both classes play some Christmas music? Do I sense a medley about to begin? <laughs> Medley. Just let Emily be Emily. It's for the best. And now here's one of my favorite songs, Carol of the Bells. Wait a minute. This isn't Carol of the Bells. What is this? Look, it's Mr. Diver. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Get away, you villain. Villain? What are you talking about? Aren't you the evil Mr. Dybul? Who tried to dissolve Mr. Corrigan in acid last year? Oh, that? What a world, huh? You try to dissolve someone in acid one time, and that's all anybody ever remembers. Nobody ever asks me about the books I wrote on Manifest Destiny and the Mexican-American War. Still available from Cavendish Square Publishing, by the way. It makes a great stocking stuffer. You know what's interesting is really parsing Lincoln's spot resolution debates in Congress. This guy rambles on worse than Mr. Corrigan does. Look, I can understand why you would think I'm a bad guy. But don't you remember? Mr. Corgan and I became friends again after that. You did? Sure. Did Mr. Corgan forget that part? You know with the older guys, the memory is the first to go. But I assure you, I have no ill intent. And what's with the Darth Vader music? Oh, that? That doesn't mean I'm evil. It's just really great tune. John Williams, that is finest. I suppose that's true. 
So what are you doing here, then? Oh, right. So, look, I live in Buffalo now, and I hardly ever get to see my old friends at Cristo Rey. I was on my way to an obscure history conference in some, in some unremarkable place, and by coincidence, the plane stopped in Columbus. I have only a short window of time before my flight leaves, and I thought I'd surprise Mr. Corgan by giving him his Christmas present in person. Where is he? Hiding from you. We don't know where he is. Oh, no. That's a shame. I guess I only have myself to blame. I understand why Mr. Corgan still doesn't trust me. I have betrayed him once or twice, but I promise those days are behind. You know what? I believe in you. Yeah. 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 I wish I could tell him myself, but I only have a few minutes. I really have to go or, or I'll miss my flight. Hold on. What about his present? If you leave it with us, we can give it to him. Oh, uh, right. About that. Um, hmm. I realized after I got here that I accidentally left it in my house back in Buffalo. Uh, just, just let Mr. Corgan know that I'll, I'll mail it to him uh, when I get back home. Uh, but, y- you know, the mail the mail can be slow nowadays. I, I figure it should arrive, arrive around, um, I don't know, just throwing a date out there, May 24th. May 24th? That's the date of the last podcast of the school year. Is it? Hmm. Sounds a little bit like foreshadowing, does it? I mean, oh well, uh, tell, tell him to look, look out for it. Uh, I wish I could stay longer, but I really have to go. Wait, I'll send Mr. Corgan a message right now. Maybe there's still time for you to see him. Couldn't you wait a few more minutes? I wish I could, but if I don't leave now, I'll miss my flight. Now let's see, uh, how do I get out of here again? Oh, I remember. Why did he jump through that window? Why didn't he just use that door right there? I can see why he and Mr. Corgan are friends. Yeah, they're both weird. It's too bad Mr. Corgan is so mistrusting. He missed out. Oh well, not our problem. How about some more Christmas music? Good idea. There's a lot of classic Christmas songs that everyone knows, but let's hear something not as well known. Here's a full Christa Ray choir singing Hushabai Nanita Nana. Great. Agreed. Yeah, 
Yes, the choir is amazing. Amazing! But let's not forget that Chris Story also has a concert band. Let's hear something from them now. Please be a medley, please be a medley. This song is called Christmas Mashup, a Christmas medley. Medley. Emily! <laughs> and the presents, these are all great. But we never want to lose sight of the true meaning of Christmas, the birth of Jesus Christ. We have a God who loves us so much he became one of us. And that's what Christmas is all about. In all seriousness, sometimes in life we can face some real struggles. Maybe that's why it's important to keep some traditions alive, to retell the story of Christmas, the same story that has been passed down for 2,000 years. Here's that story from the Gospel of Luke. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria. And everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea. To Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house of the Lion of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. And she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him into a manger because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over the flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them. And the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths, lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see the things that has happened which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in a manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told to them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. Well, that's all the time we have for today. We hope you enjoyed our fourth annual Crystal Ray Podcast Christmas special. Make it stop.
make it stop. A very special thank you to Miss Wise for conducting the choir, the guitar classes, the concert band, and the intro to music class. In fact, they were so great. Let's hear one more song for the road. Oh, won't you come and see the baby? Come and see the baby. Come and see the baby for the best Oh, won't you come and see the baby? podcast we wish you all a very merry christmas a happy new year and we wish everyone a happy holiday season however you and your loved ones celebrate this time mr corrigan is still nowhere to be found but i'm sure the choir can sing us out in style and this time they don't even need magic dust happy, happy holidays Stop the music, stop the music, stop the music. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. It's Mr. Corrigan, I'm here. It's about time you showed up. Emily, where is everybody? The show's over. They left. I'm the last one. Oh no. What are you doing here anyway? I thought you were too afraid. Well, I was, but then I got your message that Mr. Dybul wasn't here to hurt me, but just to give me my Christmas present. I rushed over as quickly as I could, but I guess I missed him. That's right. Did he at least leave me my present? No, he said he'd mail it to you. It should arrive on May 24th. May 24th? That's the day of the last podcast of the school year. I know. Sounds like foreshadowing, doesn't it? Oh, Emily, I've been so foolish. I let my fear control me. I hate to say it, but you're right. You have to embrace every moment. You never know how much time you might have with good friends. The class of 2024 understands that more than most. I suppose you're right. Oh, I've made a real mess of things. I had a chance to reconnect with an old friend and I blew it. Not only that, but this is usually the time in the show where the whole staff of Crystal Ray sings a big Christmas finale together. And now it's too late for that too. Well, Mr. Corgan, it is Christmas. And if there's ever a time for a miracle, isn't it on Christmas? Christmas is the time to say, well, how does that song go? Christmas is the time to say I love you. Mr. Dybul, I can't believe it. You came back. Bear the joys of laughter and good cheer. Go on, Mr. Corgan. Christmas is the time to say I love you. And a feeling that will last all through the year. Let's go. Let's stop and Chris Ray out here. There's a touch of magic in the air. From grown up to mommy. No one could be finer. Times are hard, but no one seems to care. Christmas Eve and all the world is watching. Santa guys, he's ringing to the bar. From rooftop to chimney. From Harlem to Bimney. They will find a way into your heart. Everybody! Christmas is the time to say I love you. Share the joys of laughter and your cheer. Christmas is the time to say I love you. And the feeling that will last all the year. Mr. Dival, it is so great to see you for this, but didn't you miss your flight? Totally worth it. What a guy. Remember, everyone who's ever worked at Crystal Ray is together in word and time. Yeah, boy. You heard about that, huh? It could have been worse. How? I could have said. Christmas!
On behalf of everyone at Crystal Wave, we want to wish all of you a happy holiday season. Just outside the window, snow is falling. I see that, Mr. Rose. Miss Pettit. We're here beside the fire, we share the glow. I could have sworn used to be a man. Of one night and brandy. Wait till you're 21, sweet talk kids. and candy. Sentiments that everyone should know. Memories of the year that lays behind us. Thank goodness! This is for the year that's yet to come. Ho, ho, ho! And it stands to reason that good friends and season make you feel that life has just begun. <laughs> Christmas is the time to say I love you, I love you. Share the joys of laughter and cheer. Don't you know that it's a Christmas? Christmas is the time to say I love you. Shine and brighter, and you're a